Hey riders, what's what's up? It's Paul with another ride home review. Another Tuesday, another review. Uh, and this week I checked out Hereditary. Uh, stars uh, Tony Collette and Gabriel Byrne and directed by Ari Aster. Before I continue, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Review so you don't miss a review each week on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, catch out uh, some of the things I'm looking at in the film world on Facebook and follow on Instagram as I post there. Not as often as I would like, I'm trying to get back onto that so, uh, so pay attention to what I'm gonna be doing on Instagram. So anyway, Hereditary, the thriller of the summer, um, uh, by relatively unknown director Ari Aster. Uh, the synopsis of the movie is basically uh, tragedy strikes this uh, young family twice, and uh, things go weird from there. The mother goes spiritual, and uh, yeah, uh, bad things, man, bad things. So, however, there's a history. There's a history to it. So what I liked about it, if anybody's a fan of Toni Collette, you will not be disappointed. Not at all. She is spectacular in this movie, and she actually runs this movie from beginning to end. Um, so it was great to see her on screen doing doing this. And also Gabriel Byrne, who's a, who's a main, who's a, a classic actor. But uh, for the most part, uh, Toni Collette was, was really great. In fact, the focus, was really on her and uh, and uh, so other things I liked about it technically this was a really well done film Cinem cinematography was great um, editing was really good uh, uh, the music and the sound was good um, so technically this movie hit all the marks that you would expect from a psychological thriller. What it didn't have, what I didn't care for, is I set myself up for this. I kept seeing, uh, hearing about how scary the jump scares, this and that, and I, I didn't feel that at all. I didn't think that this film lived up to that hype, and I was really disappointed. Um, and I mean, there were some good areas where there was tension and it was tense but uh you know it just didn't wow me it didn't frighten me scare me uh and not saying that i'm easily scared but there's there's moments where you can do that you can make anybody jump and i just felt that this film was filled with cliches um it just was i don't know it just it just didn't hit me i mean there were some shocking moments some things you didn't expect i'll give them that but for the most part, I was really, I was really not into how they developed the story. It was really, it was it was difficult. It was a piecemeal backstory. Um, there just wasn't enough development into making it really f frighten you with the big reveals. And so I was just, yeah. I mean, I was really disappointed in in that regard. So, but you know, that's me. You know, you might have a different feel for it. I, do you need to see it in the movie theater? Absolutely not. You know, um, you can wait for this uh, on streaming or DVD, whatever, however you like to watch things. What to watch for, though, then I thought this was cool, and this goes back to the technical aspect of how the film was crafted and put together, was the dollhouse motif. I really liked how they played on that and how they structured things. Um, if you pay attention to how the composition of the cameras are, uh, or the camera is, or, and, and how, how things are framed, um, you'll see what I mean. It's a really cool, nice touch. Um, didn't really dive back into the story much, but I really, I really enjoyed that little uh, uh, thing right there. So there you have it, Hereditary. Did I like it? I did not. Um, so you don't have to go to the theater to see it. But until next time, subscribe on YouTube. Like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and until next week, catch something cool. Alright, see you next week.